God bless you. Today we're going to open to Psalm 66. We're going to read Psalm 66. For there are times where it's just stopping in the middle of life in the world and how busy it can become. Stopping all things just to focus on God. Letting go of self and just rejoicing and praising God in all his wonders, all his glory, all his goodness. How he guides us and strengthens us and just giving thanks and praising him for all he does for us. So, if you'd like to open to Psalm 66 and we shall begin. Make a joyful shout to God all the earth. Sing out the honour of his name. Make his praise glorious. Say to God, how awesome are your works. Through the greatness of your power, your enemies shall submit themselves to you. All the earth shall worship you and sing praises to you. They shall sing praises to your name. Come and see the works of God. He is awesome in his doing toward the sons of men. He turned the sea into dry land. They went through the river on foot. There we will rejoice in him. He rules by his power forever. His eyes observe the nations. Do not let the rebellious exalt themselves. O oh, bless our God, you peoples, and make the voice of his praise to be heard. Who keeps our soul among the living and does not allow our feet to be moved. For you, O oh God, have tested us. You have refined us as silver is refined. You brought us into the net. You laid affliction on our backs. You have caused men to ride over head, our heads. We went through fire and through water. But you brought us out to rich fulfilment. I will go into your house with burnt offerings. I will pay you my vows, which my lips have uttered. And my mouth has spoken when I was in trouble. I will offer you burnt sacrifices of fat animals. With the sweet aroma of rams, I will offer bulls with goats. Come and hear all you who fear God. And I will declare what he has done for my soul. I cried to him with my mouth. And he was extolled with my tongue. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear. But certainly God has heard me. He has attended to the voice of my prayer. Blessed be God, who has not turned away my prayer, nor his mercy from me. Blessed be the Lord. Sing out joyfully as you praise God. Call out that the rest of the earth will praise the Lord and his goodness. For our Father is glory and all the power is his. For look at the awesomeness of his works. The greatness within all he does. The amazingness of all life and creation is in his hand. Beginning and end It's his to do delight in the wonders of God the peace and the joy that he may bring as we trust in him believe in him and follow him be at peace with God guiding you every step of the way trusting in God's guiding hand may he bring you peace and joy The greatness of him. For all the earth will worship him. We all come together to sing praises to our Father in heaven.
we see how good he is. How kind and merciful he is in long suffering. For he is patient. And his faithful love endures forever. For he is patient with each and every one of us. For we stumble blindly in the world of sin. Till we learn that we know better. Thus we will do better. As we grow in Christ. For the remission of sins. Turning from them. Casting the world away. That we follow in his goodness. Seeking his kingdom first. And his righteousness. Loving God with all our heart, our mind and strength. And loving one another as he loved us. Loving our neighbours as ourselves. For the glory of God. Trusting in him. Oh bless our God you peoples. And make the voice of his praise be heard. Pray out loudly and joyously. That all may know the goodness of God. For it is God that refines us. That we grow ever better. Ever stronger. Ever more diligent and faithful. In his loving ways. He delivers us through all our struggles. We rejoice in him. And we cry out, speaking of his goodness and all the good he has done in our lives. For we call out and he hears us. We pray and call on him for help and he answers. He gives us peace. Gives us strength. He leads us, for he is the good shepherd. Though there is enemy left and right, we will not fear, for God is by our side. We know he has heard our prayers, for we will not fear, for he is good and true, for his faithful love endures forever. And we will testify the goodness of God before others, speaking of the good he has done in our lives. Blessed be God. May we all praise him together. Next, we will now go into Psalm 67. God, be merciful to us and bless us. And cause his face to shine upon us. That your way may be known on earth. Your salvation among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. O let the nations be glad and sing for joy. For you shall judge the people righteously. And govern the nations on earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Then the earth shall yield her increase. God, our own God, shall bless us. God shall bless us. And all the ends of the earth shall fear him. God is there for every one of us. And we bring praise together. For his righteous judgment. That his face shine upon us as we diligently seek him. Wholeheartedly and earnestly. In humble prayer. Studying our Bibles ever faithfully. Praying and building that relationship with God. As we put our faith and our trust in him. To lead us ever more faithfully. That we walk the narrow path joyously. Seeking his salvation. Praising our God every step of the way. For our father will judge all people. And he will judge them righteously. Our father will come. And govern the nations on earth. Woe to those that are corrupt. But praise and joy for those that stand upright, trusting in him. 
May this short study encourage you all this day. Be at peace with God by your side. Do not fear and do not doubt. Be at peace this day with God leading you every step of your life. God bless you all.